is Seba, and it's time for another installment of Just Show Me on Tekka TV, where we take your tech toys and gadgets and show you how to get the most out of them. Today, we're going to talk to you about a very important topic, making a good password. Now, using a really easy password is a surefire way to get hacked, and we want to give you a few tips on making a more difficult password for those nefarious hackers to get into your account. So we're going to make sure that you are safe. So the very first thing that you definitely want to do is have a mixture of uppercase and lowercase letters in your password. And if the site allows for punctuation marks, you should definitely try for that too. On top of that, longer passwords are harder to guess, so aim for at least six to eight characters. You definitely don't want to have Bob with a capital B-O-B as your password because it's a little bit easy for people to guess. Also, there's a really good tip and it's sort of a guideline. Try to use what we call the license plate technique, which is imagine a phrase or a couple of words and think that you're getting a vanity license plate and you wanna to try to squeeze that phrase into eight characters. That's a great way to create a password that's easy to remember. So let's say I wanted to do Tekka Loves Tech, which is a really easy thing to remember. It's a very Simple sentence, three words long, but that's a little bit long for a password. And also loves tech are words you can find in a dictionary pretty easily. So instead of doing that, how about we do this? T, capital T, E, C, C, A. And then you can use the symbols for a heart, which is the less than and three. And then we can use tech with a three in it as well, with an exclamation point. So that right there is a really easy way to make your password much harder to guess and you're condensing a phrase that's very easy to remember into a password that is difficult for hackers to guess. That brings me to my next point. Make a password that you can remember and don't ever write it down because that's how you get hacked. Also, stay away from words that you can find in the dictionary preceded or followed by a number like puppy one because Hackers tend to have software that can find different words. It goes through all the words in the dictionary and it can guess your password pretty easily. You also wanna stay away from things like birthdays, anniversaries, and other common numbers like one, two, three, four, and phrases like the word password. And lastly, never ever use your social security number as your password. And unfortunately, while that seems like a no-brainer, I myself have had a couple of friends use it as their password, which is a big no-no. You're asking to not only get hacked, but you're now you're asking for identity theft. So definitely keep all of your personal numbers and information away from your passwords that you use on the internet. That's it for Just Show Me. Be sure to check out Tekka.com for all of our other content, and we'll see you next time.